So a couple people asked me to post about my process when I'm writing those short uh, guitar compositions for Instagram, etc. I mean, it usually kind of just happens in a moment. I try and make a new one every day. So I just posted one and while it's fresh in my mind, I wanted to kind of tell you what I was thinking. So normally I just pick up the guitar out of the case or whatever and kind of see where it's tuned and then um, noodle around there. Sometimes I'll just start with a groove, whatever. This time I happened to pick up the guitar and it was tuned to what's called double drop D, which is just the first and sixth string are tuned down to D. And I kind of just started coming up with this little melody thing based on sixths. Okay. I just like played that. Um, partly I think I was learning some Johnny Highland uh, Telecaster licks and it uses this uh, way to end the lick. So I don't know, maybe that was on my mind. Don't know. Um, but that's what keeps it fun and fresh. So, um, I saw the tallest man on earth in concert on uh, Friday night. So, and he capos up high and, you know, I heard an interview with Tommy Emanuel one time and he was saying how sometimes capo position and playing melody in the right register can make all the difference. Anyway, I just thought I'd put the capo on the fifth fret, bring it up a little higher and take it away from sort of a country twangy thing. So I, I kind of just came up with this over the um, thumb bass. different than the original lick which went okay so I'm doing and then I'm going up to I'm not, there's no, actually no D in that uh, in that little voicing there so just harmonizing the top line and then I thought well I can just do that you know, four times in a row and be done, uh, which would be kind of lame. I uh, decided to just kind of mess around moving it into different octaves. So the first thing I did was I took it up an octave, actually two octaves. And then I was working on it down an octave. So then I did. Now you'll notice I have like the second in there, which I just like the sound of it adds a little tension, uh, kind of an easy way to add tension, as long as it makes sense to me in the, you know, chord progression and the melody's still in there somewhere. And then just right down to a, th a third D and F sharp. Okay, then I actually uh, have that minor second in this top here which is G and F sharp. Okay, and then I resolve this one to that same major third. Okay, so then the whole thing is So pretty much very simple, just a little ditty. I could have taken it a million other places, but I decided to leave it at that. Um, I'm actually running out the door to go have dinner with uh, my family. So um, in a bit of a time crunch, there it is. All right, enjoy.